Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are checking out some Marvel's Avengers with the latest character that has released, which is Jane Foster, aka the Mighty Thor. She just released a few hours ago on the game at the time of recording this. And I figured I'd jump in, uh, see how the game has been doing because it's been quite a while since I played. And then also check out the new character because for whatever reason, I have this compelling feeling to continue to return to this game, even though I thought I was done. Um, so that's what we're checking out today. Uh, I guess we'll go into this heroic mission here, the Mighty Foster or Mighty Jane Foster mission, and then kind of take it from there. Um, now, the real question is, it's been a while. They know they've changed a lot of stuff, so I have to actually locate that mission. Uh, but if you guys enjoy the video, definitely leave a like on it. Uh, subscribe for more if you do want to see some more Avengers content, and we'll take it from there. Um, I'm too big of a Marvel fan and everything to to kind of skip out on things like this because it is so uh, barren out there with Marvel games still. So hopefully, you know, this game has been getting a lot of updates. I've seen a lot of people happy about quality of life improvements and other things like that. So hopefully uh, we'll see some more progress in the future for this game or any other ones. Uh, apparently, so there's a Mjolnir on the ship here somewhere. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where, though we have to find it um does it actually give us like a marker for that i will go over all of her her abilities and things like that in a little bit but before i did that i wanted to actually oh what is this now let's talk about making what? the most of your hero roster uh okay All right, let's try this. It's in here, right? Yes, it is. Hello, Thor. Hello, Thor. All right, let's do it. Hmm. Careless of Odinson to leave you here alone. Nice. In my timeline, Asgard has fallen. The gods said the end of days would cast the Ten Realms into ice and darkness. Instead, it was fire and blood. Odinson never returned from Earth, and without his son to protect Asgard from outside influence, the Allfather went mad. <laughs> Mjolnir chose me to take up the mantle. But it was too late. Odin had locked the Allmother away and declared those loyal to her as his enemy. And if he had to destroy Asgard to root out rebellion, so be it. I was used to fighting battles. I was used to facing down darkness. But this... Even I had to admit, I needed help. So, I made a deal with the last person in the Ten Realms I would ever turn to. My father always said, if a man can't smile without making you uneasy, that man is rotten to the core. But sometimes you have to make compromises. And compromises have a price. I didn't want to pay, but you can't trick the god of mischief. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. 
<laughs> Avengers, follow me. And there it is. The mighty Jane Foster's I beginning. I to ask Odinson. Is the talking normal with Mjolnir? Mjolnir talks to you? Wait, what? Oh. So it's not normal. Ha! Uh, I, no, I didn't mean it like that. It's, um... <laughs> it's not nice. words for me. His uh, mouth isn't moving. A, a feeling, a connection. As if we are one consciousness. Hmm? Oh. Guess I just got the chattier Mjolnir. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's the intro, I think, to uh, Jane Foster. Now, do we actually have any, like, missions for her? Okay, we do. Uh, it's a basic um, completion mission. Defeat riot bots or Aegis enemies. Uh, complete any drop zone and complete any threat sector. Okay. Well, I guess we might as well get out there and we'll do one mission before I start going over all the abilities and stuff like that. So that way we get some actual gameplay going here and not just sitting. Um, it's been a while, but I think we can try quick match. We'll see how, how long this takes. I'm going to probably pause the video until I get in. All right, so here we go, loading into our mission. I could not find a group of people I uh, currently play, so in a standoff I had to ahead. spawn in with the companions that we have. So we have uh, Hulk, has Captain America, Protect those and inhumans. A regular Thor with us. It's been quite a while, so I guess we'll see how this goes here. We're not alone. God blast heroic ability. Probably played this mission so many times now. <laughs> One thing I did notice when we were on uh, the main menu uh, or mission selection is I noticed that now they show mission levels. Uh, and I don't think that was a thing before. Like now it shows power level for each area. And that's kind of cool. So that, that way now you can see directly where to go for your specific level and then you can probably increase the uh difficulty from there if that's still a thing uh now i haven't played the game like literally since black panther released i know they've had a bunch of patches uh since then they've changed up and removed a lot of resources so if you guys know some things that i should try out or test out at least for the first time feel free to leave them in the comments or let me know because I wouldn't mind doing another video checking out some of the the more recent content. Um, things like apparently, what's his name, came back. Uh, Nick Fury, he's now back into the world. Um, so I know that's a, another change. Other than that, though, I, I really don't know. I don't know anything else. Okay, so those two, the first two abilities that we just did are, are the same as Thor. I don't know if they have different variations or not. They're safe. But those two are the same. A team of watchdogs is in the vicinity. I've sent their location to your HUD. Now, I don't know uh, what abilities we're going to upgrade yet, so I'm going to hold off on the skill points until we finish the mission most likely and then we'll kind of take it from there to see what we have available and then upgrade gear and then probably go into another mission i'm going to try to keep this a little bit of a shorter video so that way we're not neutralize the watchdogs long. unit but i might do another video of like part two continuing to upgrade because i am a little bit interested so that ability is definitely new A watchdog's agent is down. Okay. Another watchdog has been neutralized. That finisher is the same there. They have lost another agent. How about this one? 
I don't even have Mjolnir in my hand. Another bounty hunter is down. <laughs> Wait, it's gone. Where is it? All right, come back to me, Mjolnir. Oh, it is in my hand. You tapped out. Now we're doing your job. Now I did see. Apparently, one of her abilities is being able to throw uh, Mjolnir and not have the to. The Watchdogs team has been defeated. Aim Excellently at a target. Done. I've located captive inhumans. So you can actually just throw it. Cells. You'll have to break them out. And it will go directly towards the person, uh, or closest person nearby. Now I haven't tried anything like that yet, and I guess we'll see. But. That is kind of cool if uh, that's one of them. Now, I guess we'll see how many uh, actually unique abilities she has soon. There must always be a door. Okay. There is some sort of vibranium event. Now, why is her... Mjolnir keep changing. It's changing to this gold thing. Does she equip that when Mjolnir is running around? Or is that her? You know what? Let's let's look over the abilities real quick. So her specialties. No, uh, mastery specialty. Is this specialty? Yes. Okay, that's the same as Thor. Warrior's thunder. God Blast, same thing as Thor. The All Weapon. From Mjolnir and automatically seek out targets, the All Weapon can hit targets up to 10 times before returning. Okay. So she basically just pulls that out. And then uses... Oh, she summons Underjarn. Underjarn. I don't know how you say that. Uh, for melee and ranged attacks and reduce all damage by 20 percent okay so she does that primary stuff i think a lot of this is the same hammer spin yep star health slam now i wonder if they used like all of the same abilities or if some of them have slightly different names or techniques i'd have to go back and look uh because it's, it's been quite a while falling star Sigurd Strike. That one's actually kind of cool. Let me grab that. Drop the urn. Ooh, urn drop the uru. Seek and pin. Without marking. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's the one. Perform a seeking Mjolnir without marking any targets. Will invoke the weapon to seek out an enemy and, and uh, incite and pin them. So it automatically pins them, which is cool. Mother of Storms. Yeah, the intrinsic ability stuff I usually like upgrading as well. Okay. We did those. Let's uh, make our way to the next thing. So it's kind of like a quick overview. I was going to spend more time, but I guess are. as we get more You'll points, we can spend a little bit more time to open checking the them out. Now, this is going to be... Uh, I'm going to test something out i'm gonna try doing like kind of series of new characters so as of right now this is going to be part one for the jane foster for marvel's avengers if you do want me to do like a full playthrough of other characters let me know in the comments also uh because then i can really go back uh black panther i had a lot of time a lot of fun with but i didn't really stick around for leveling up all the way to 150 um but if there's enough demand for it, I wouldn't mind going back and uh, kind of passively creating some videos here and there during the leveling process of power levels and for, uh, you know, generic levels too. So it is a possibility. Uh, like I said, this was going to be part one for Jane Foster. Uh, if I do decide to do any other characters or even characters in the future i would create them as a its own playlist and just be part one of x character um and i, I feel like that's a good structure because that's kind of it's actually surprisingly worked pretty good for me for mmos that i've played where if i put the name of the the class i'm playing 
uh, people actually kind of, I feel like it can help resonate with somebody because they might click on a video of Marvel Avengers, but maybe they don't want to see gameplay of Iron Man and they'd rather play Hulk or, or even the Mighty Thor, the new character, or Black Panther. So that way it's just gameplay of that character. This is why they call me Thor. The cell is open. level six now I'm not really sure what they've changed as far as the leveling goes they did say it's more streamlined now and uh, I don't know if that also in includes like power leveling like leveling your power level or if that's only for that kind of uh, like your from one to fifty nice work there we go that's all of the uh, the objectives here. Okay, and then once we get out of here, we'll see what we have as far as equipment, and then we'll probably go for like one more mission in this video at least. Excellent. The bounty hunters have been purged from Jersey City. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. So, we'll go into skills again. We have three points available. With All Mother's Blessing, uh, active, attacking, defeating enemies will refund intrinsic energy, keeping All Mother's Blessing active for longer periods of time. Okay. Specialty. I'm interested in seeing what special alternatives they have for each ability. Increase the duration. Modify heroic abilities, swap between the three choices. Nearby teammates receive temporary damage boost of 25% when it's activated. Whoa. Okay. And of course you have mastery here. And then champion. I have not done champion points. I think the highest level champion I got for any character is like level seven. There's so much I could have done, but I just never gotten around to it. I've always lost interest in the game or the new character before I ever really got that far. Um, I'm going to upgrade that one, which actually I don't even know what I just did. Here's the maximum number of targets that can be marked to five. Heavy attack, old F, old F. F plus Q. Whoa. That one's kind of cool. Alright, I'm going to take this too. Alright, let's see what equipment we have now. I'll equip best gear. A lot of shock stuff. I do have the ring of Nibelum on or equipped right now. So it increases the amount stored by orbs by 10%. And let's try to go into another mission and see if we can level up a little bit more. So right now I am level, power level, what, what power level am I actually? Power level 15, level 7. So yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, this area is 25 to 50, this one's 1, wait, how is it 1 to 175? Interesting. I do remember doing that mission. Black Widow will auto be auto selected. One to twenty five. I mean I can do another another one in here. They do have the vibranium things currently going on, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh complete any threat sector for Mighty Jane Foster, you have to do two of them and complete any drop zone three times. So Let's go for one drop zone. Yeah, let's go for this advanced materials R&D lab.
Okay, apparently we hit level seven just by launching. Oh, wait, no, we were at level seven. Avengers, several resistance fighters are trapped in the field. AIM is closing in on their position and we need you to rescue them before they're overwhelmed. Get to their provided location and defend them as long as necessary. We will extract them when AIM forces have been eliminated. AIM Here scientists are fighting AIM forces. They want to defect. Help them. They want to defect. Help them. You're finished. Now I kick the These missions water. always go so quick. The drop zones, which honestly, like, I don't mind if you're going in and uh, doing a pretty quick mission. Like, whatever. It's not a huge deal. And it has its uh, purposes. The only problem is, uh, and the one thing that I still wish that this game had was drop in, drop out co-op. Hey, Even if it removed all your companions, if it had that, I feel like it would just do so much better. I, I much rather prefer with randoms and dropping into their ongoing games than having to sit in a lobby and not find anybody for like 10, 15 minutes. That it that continues to be my biggest complaint. That and crossplay. Luckily now we're crossplay between Xbox on PC, which I, I'm on PC. We couldn't tell. Um, and I'm also using mouse and keyboard to play this game. I, I actually think this game feels pretty good uh, on mouse and keyboard, to be honest. Using your F ability is that right click, left click, aiming. Throwing it like that. Well, just overall, like, kind of first impressions of Jane Foster. She's not a bad character, but she definitely is just another version of Thor. So if you wanted to play the female version of Thor, Hey, it's, I'm sure there's somebody out there that's going to main Jane Foster, and for them, I'm, I'm happy for them. But I do wish they kind of spread out the uh, not duplicates of another character, kind of like a more unique one. So far, the, the main, the biggest unique one we've gotten is Black Panther. I don't know what the future of the game is. But I really hope we at least see a few more completely unique characters in our lifetime of this in the lifetime of this game, actually. But there's another drop zone or well, that's our first drop zone done. So Good job, we Avengers. hit 17. You saved our people so they can fight another day. The resistance will surely succeed with you watching their backs. Surely. Surely succeed. Uh, let's see. Check abilities again. Equip the new stuff. And then what else we got here? Take the intrinsic stuff. It will block grenades or other projectiles deflecting away any explosive devices. Okay. I'll take that as well. Okay. Well, I think this is going to be it for this video for now. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, definitely leave a like on it. Subscribe for more. If you do want to see more Jane Foster gameplay, then feel free to let me know. I might honestly create another video of this. Uh, just to continue it because I do want to kind of see what she plays like uh, a little bit more leveled up, but I'm not 100% sure if I will, but it's a possibility. Uh, for now, thank you for watching as always, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.